Hi, welcome to another example on conversion and dimensional analysis. Now for this example, what we'll be doing is we will be converting a unit of measurement on length. Okay. Have you ever been uh, in a 5K fun run? Have you ever joined a 5K fun run? Now you must be wondering how long or how long is the distance in a 5K fun run in the unit of miles. So that will be our conversion for this example. So actually 5K stands for 5 kilometers. So the distance in the unit of kilometers for the 5K run is equal to 5 kilometers. Now we want to know how many, sorry, how much is that in miles unit. So we simply convert the 5 kilometers into miles using our knowledge on dimensional analysis. Now the first thing is we have to start with our given. So our given is we have 5 kilometers and we're asked to convert that into the unit of miles. Now as you can see we have two blanks here. Just like our previous examples, this means that we need at least two conversion factors which we need from your equivalent statements for us to get the value for the 5 kilometers in miles unit. So we do that by simply writing our equivalence unit and that is equal to 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Now what we are using here are the abbreviations of the units. KM stands for kilometer, M for meter. Then 1 meter is equal to 1609.34 miles. MI here stands for miles. So we then transform these equivalent statements into conversion factors and place them here for them to be useful. So the first conversion factor we need will be coming from this here because we are starting with the unit kilometers. For us to cancel this unit, the unit in our denominator for this first part should be in kilometer as well. So we now transform this. There we have written 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and we have to remember that the units should be properly placed for them to cancel out and that is the main uh, purpose in this usage on your dimensional analysis okay so the unit kilometer will now cancel out there we cancel it out so we're now left with the unit in meters so for us to convert the meter into miles all we need to is to convert this equivalent statement into the corresponding conversion factor and there we now have our equivalent statement into the proper conversion factor of course with the proper unit placed here in the denominator so that we cancel the unit the unit meters so we now cancel this out there so we are now left with our desired unit which is in miles so we now do the calculation and we arrive to the, to the answer which is equal to 3.107 miles okay but remember before we report the final answer we have to always look back at our given and we have to determine the number of significant figures. We are only ha given one significant figure, so we, our final answer should only contain one significant figure. So we round this off. The decimal place is here, and the next digit is 1. So we will not be adding anything or any additional value to our first figure here. So our final answer will be 3 miles. And that is our final answer based on the number correct number of significant figures okay so let me just show that again there all right so our final answer is three miles and let me just encircle that for it to be emphasized okay that's all for this example thank you for listening and continue learning